Hello and welcome to the Temple of Tomes with your host, Indy Comics Jones. Today is June 10th, 2021, and this is episode 326. Helm Grey Castle is what we're looking at today. This is the second issue in this arc, coming out from Image Comic and Top Cow. And as we look at the cover... We've got a barrage of characters just all kind of jammed together. And this is what <laughs> this issue was like actually trying to read it. There are so many characters in here. It seemed like the first issue I could keep them straight. And it kind of it made sense. This issue is a little too jumbled for me. I'm going to check out. I'm not going to continue reading the series. Um, it, just, it just got added too many characters i couldn't tell the um the one faction apart at all so it was just too confusing and i tried going back the first issue i didn't really have that much problem but this one was a big problem okay so let's take a look to see who worked on this as you can see there are a number of people here listed <laughs> stories by harry barajas or barajas uh, the color artist is Brian Valenza. The penciler was Rahma M. Hondoro. The letter artist is Gabriel Downey. And the script assist and editor was Claire Napier. The name of this one is Belly of the Beast. Chapter 2, Meet Me in Mictlan. Now, I believe this Helm Grey Castle is part of an RPG uh, game. I think the first issue had a number of pages in the back that were dedicated to the game. I don't know if it's the same um, game as this Belly of the Beast, but this one also contains a game, Belly of the Beast. And let's get right into it, right off the bat. So we start off here... Um, and they're at this temple. It's been rebuilt, apparently. Um, I don't know what that means exactly. And and just so you know, our our heroes in this are a group of dungeon and dragon dungeons and dragons warrior type um, that have been put in an Aztec landscape. So they've got this little guy here. He's he's like a baby dragon man or something. I'm not quite sure. And I don't remember him from the first issue. He might have been in there, but I'm just drawing a blank. And as you can tell, all these guys kind of look the same. And that was very confusing to me who the heck they were. Um, they put the dragon guy in with some of the prisoners. And I, it was just kind of lost. These two are not prisoners, but yet they're talking to the prisoners. So they are trying to mount some kind of revolt against the person that's in charge he, the, the new person that's in charge he beat up they beat, beat down the um, conquistadors took back their city but the guy that was in charge believes he's a god now and he's making his people do all kinds of strange things so we, we seem to just be bouncing around to the to place to place here. They, I mean, first they were apparently in like a jail, and then they're, I guess this jail, then they're let out, and then they are given, like, I don't know who these people are again. They just kind of jammed a bunch of people in, and they all have talking parts, and then we get like some flashbacks to when the conquistadors were there. Um, and then we get this bird that brings them a message. <laughs> And I'm not sure who, what that's supposed to be, but it just all of a sudden this guy's up on chains. And then they, they're they given some kind of drug later on where they're naked. <laughs> the two main people, I can't remember what their names are, these two, they're naked. But I don't know what was, they talked about dying, but it wasn't really dying. It was just this drug. And that is pretty much the end of the story. So it only lasted like 18 pages. And then we get this huge The Belly of the Beast supplement that talks about the game that you can play. And you can see it's got all kinds of things to add to this. So I don't know if this is some kind of Dungeons and Dragons type thing. I don't think it's a card game. Um, but 
there's a, there's a number of things going on with that. So, and then they, they also give us a preview of La Mano del Destino, a special preview. This is coming out in March 21. I don't know what the heck that is. Diamond code. Maybe I've got that wrong. <laughs> it's like, it's the order code, but it's a Luce. If you're into Luce things, you might want to be checking that out. And then we get a map here that is also part of the map on the front here. So, and then an ad for home, which I believe is on its third, um, third issue now. It's about some uh, undocumented, well, I don't know if they're undocumented workers, so I don't think they're working. Ill illegal aliens that get captured, but the boy has superpowers somehow, so you have that to look forward to. As well as A Man Among Ye, number five on sale in July. I did reviews on the first four issues. This was a big gap between issues four and five. I wasn't recommended first. Really liked the first issue, but then it just tailed off for me. So you get a little review on that one too. So there you go. Thanks for stopping by and watching this review, Helm Grace Castle. This is not a recommend any longer, so um, if you go by my recommends, you might not want to get this one if you haven't got it already. Anyway, please like, please subscribe, please leave comments, and we'll see you next time at the Temple of Tomes. Like I said, I've got a ton of reviews to do still, so there'll be more to come. As always, this is Indie Comics Jones bidding you adieu.